All right, got the uh, prototype pack, painted it, uh, got everything final installed, got the high strength bolts in. Uh, one commenter asked about, uh, you can use the existing bolts and cut them down. Uh, you can. Uh, I use using the all thread. You notice I actually make it extra long on both sides. This allows, when the, when the pack is, has the bolt removed, it, it, it expands quite a bit. And it's really kind of a pain to get it all compressed back in and get all the fittings. As you can see, I have the uh, reused the coolant fittings because I will be using uh, liquid cooling on this pack. But ha by having the extra length of the all thread, it allows me to get things started and tighten it all up. The all thread sticks out a little bit, but I actually do that to uh, help protect the um, ends here so that when I'm installing it, it gives me a little less chance of uh, breaking them when I'm trying to fit it back, shoehorn it back into the back of the E30. But anyway, back to the ceiling. So I uh, talked about in the other videos that uh, I wanted to seal this area off. I have the plexiglass cover that goes over, but or the uh, polycarbonate cover, not plexiglass. And uh, I want to keep uh, any road splash from getting into onto the terminals. What happens is mud and water would get kicked up from the wheels, hit the side of this, and then get trapped underneath between the gap between the rail and the uh, battery. As you can see, I've already installed this seal on the other side. So this is just a closed cell foam seal. It's self adhesive, so it makes the installation is really, really easy. I just work its way down. I think this is half inch thick. And uh, I make it a little bit long so that it tucks nicely in the corner so there's not a gap left at the corner. But it's, like I said, it's just foam so it cuts very easily. Because you don't want it to have a, end up with a gap right there. I am leaving the backing on it. I don't really want it to stick to the rails make the installation a little bit more difficult. I have labeled my rails since I pulled everything apart. It's always good to dry fit things and then label them so that you put them back in the place you dry fit. These should all be the same but there's always little variations from one to the other and uh, you end up putting them back in the wrong place and defeat the purpose of the dry fit. The seal is a little tight so it requires a little bit of tapping to get in place. I have a, you won't see it here, but I have a little mark there that uh, where it lines up and then I put my polycarbonate cover on. I'm just putting a few screws on this right now and the reason being that uh, I still have to make the battery connections and but I'm doing this while I do the installation because when you're installing the battery and get trying to work in awkward places that's when you're most likely to have a problem, you know, uh, making contact across here. I'm going to carry this out. I don't want to be putting my chest against uh, 100 volts. So, you take this and put it in the back of the E30.